Chris Spillman. On behalf of the Lions organization, it's a privilege to welcome you into the Pride of the Lions. If you just give me one minute, I'm standing here beside the man who was in a fight. To my friend and to my brother, this is not my moment, this is our moment. William White. He was everything you wanted in a player. He gave it all to the game. He gave it to his teammates and understood that winning meant everything. He did everything he could to do it. Look, you never know what you're going to get in the draft. 1988, the Lions' first pick was a safety, Benny Blades, from Miami, Florida. Second round was a linebacker named Chris Spielman, one of my all-time favorite players, tremendous football player. And there in the fourth round is William Hoyt, a safety. A good guy. He looked like a good pick. And he was from Ohio State, a teammate, best known for being a teammate. <laughs> Chris Spielman, probably not for anything that we thought of or what he did at, at Ohio State, but he had something. I was excited. Uh, I think William was upset. And like all competitors, you know, you felt like everybody missed out on me. So we came into Detroit, both of us, with a, a chip on our shoulder. When he ended up starting, had the ability to make sure that there was no mental mistakes in the back end. William was probably, over all my years of playing football, one of the smartest football players. And when you're smart, you're trustworthy. And that gave William, I think, an edge. William White was one of the guys who you could count on, not just once in a while to make a big splash play, but there's a reason that he started all those games for the Detroit Lions, because he was a reliable, productive, uh, committed football player. You looked at him, smaller statue in size, but big in heart. He wouldn't turn down anything. William could hit, man. A missile and he could cover, too. He was a good player. He had statistics. He had five interceptions one year for another year. He was a natural-born leader. He was a natural-born leader. And a lot of times, like, it's not what you say, it's what you do. He did that by example more than what he said. Guys like William White, that's the reason why we were able to have so much success back in the 90s was because of a guy like William White. His selflessness that he brought to the team, that's what helped us do some of the things that we did. Picked up, William White at the 30, back to the 20, to the 15, to the 10, touchdown, Lions! As William White has scored. He took care of his business, and, and that, that, that's, not everybody does that. He was committed to doing what you're supposed to do. Going back there to he was always in a good mood, you know, he always seemed to have a smile on his face, and I know that from talking to him, you know, and, uh, and you, can, you can have a high first round pick and it turns into nothing. And you get people in the middle rounds of the draft who are part of the glue, part of the building blocks of a, of a team, and they play for a long time, and you might not really miss them until they're gone. You know, there's a lot of things we think we know about players, and there's a lot of things we think we know about illness, and there's a lot of things that we observe in other people. It's been publicly known for a long time now that, that, that William White contracted ALS, or better known for a lot of people as Lou Gehrig disease. And, you know, what I thought I knew about him, I'm not surprised with the way I understand he handled this, you know, just a mighty setback in life. I got a call, and my wife and uh, William and his wife met at a restaurant, and we talked about his diagnosis, but William never was the woe is me or feel sorry for me thing. He was saying, okay, what can I do to help? Because you get a diagnosis, and you automatically think, okay, we're gonna talk about, you know, how to deal with this, but I think, you know, William's first and Nicole's first instinct was, okay, well, how can I use this for a greater good? 
Oh, the more awareness that I can help bring to it, that's to me, that's my big thing. But my day to day, I'm not concerned about my diagnosis or anything like that. With this diagnosis, he just, okay, now who am I gonna help because of it? And I'm like, okay, let's just take care of you. Why do you don't have to fix the world? You don't have to help everybody, but that's William. So I, I can't stop William from helping everyone. You know, just to endure what he did health-wise and still have an upbeat, positive attitude was just amazing to see. Um, he was one of the guys I stayed in contact with as an alumni. I would always go and spend a little time with him at, a, at the tailgate before the game. And even when he was diagnosed and going through the health challenges, his personality never changed. Um, it really hit me. It must have been the, the second year he was dealing with, with uh, the disease. And I realized he couldn't hug me like we approached each other and he couldn't lift his arms. Really, really hits your heart because of the type of person and he was. Two, two or three times I've seen him here at training camp, smile on his face, uh, uh, not looking for sympathy, living life as well as he can live it. Uh, and, and I'm not surprised by that at all. When you surround yourself with a person that you see the struggles on the field, off the field, the successes on the field, off the field, it keeps you humble. And I think we kept each other humbled over the years. I'm absolutely honored to be here today to celebrate Chris Spillman and help induct him into the pride of the Lions. You know, halftime, um, all the alumni came down. Um, and I don't know if William knew that Spillman was going to do what he did. And I hope you would give me the honor of allowing me to share this moment with my brother, who we played in an all-star game with in high school. We went to college together, and we played five years with the NFL. To my friend and to my brother, this is not my moment, this is our moment. <laughs> William White. And I, honestly, I had, you know, a lump in my throat that gesture on its own. If you knew nothing else about William White, you would know what kind of a person he is based on what Chris Spielman did. It was so emotional um, to see William down there and see him, you know, get up the, the air to speak to the fans there. Okay, fans, I'm sorry I got a weak voice, but fans, please stand up and help me congratulate my Buckeye brother, Chris Spielman, into the pocket. To hear him say stuff like that, um, it was awesome. Success was directly related to teammates' success. And most of it, uh, was with the guy that I was around from my last high school game until my uh, until our last game together in Detroit. You know, I felt like it was a chance for to honor him, but more importantly, anybody that followed those teams to say goodbye to him in a proper way. Sad news to tell you tonight: former Buckeye football player William White has died after a battle with ALS. He was diagnosed with ALS in 2016, but he never let it slow him down, and he battled. He got out in front of it and led the charge to raise money to battle this horrible disease. Our condolences go out to his family, teammates, and friends. William was just 56 years old. Yeah. You know, it, it's, it's still shocking. It's still shocking now. Dying is part of living. We understood the shape he was in. My wife was in contact with Nicole, William's wife. Nicole called me, told me. Uh, I was honored uh, to ask to speak at his calling hours. 
a number of us went to his funeral service and to hear the combined stories of how special he was as a man was pretty impressive to see how he never changed in that aspect even up to the end. I think they should remember William as a hard hitting guy that cared about his teammates, that gave everything he could for the Detroit Lions organization. He's a prime example, a shiny example of a guy that, yeah, he may be trapped in his body, but he's not gonna let his body trap him. To me, that's just an inspiration. The great thing about football is that your success is directly related to the success of those around you. Not everybody can do it, but those that do do that, and you do that at the highest level possible. When it's all said and done, you look at each other and say, yes, we went through that together. Whether it was a teammate or not, there's a certain amount of unspoken respect and honor that is there. And that's the beautiful, unique thing about football. And that's what William and I had to put a bow on it.